Revolutionary greetings. Hockey Quality Shot Core coming back at you once again. The year 2020 at another historic site. I'm out here in near Bowling Green, Virginia. I'm at another historical African slave burial that I wanted to come to because it's a significant um, a part of our story that I wanted to um, bring to you early in 2020. Um, late in 1998, there's a, a, a military base, AP4 Hill, that is not far from this area. And in 1998, soldiers were digging holes um, on this land as they was building up the fort. And, and as the soldiers was digging holes in the ground, they came across uh, a, a, a large burial of remains and skeletons on the land. Come to find out a couple years later that these remains were in fact African, in, former enslaved Africans who were laboring on the Rostein, Rostein plantation. Uh, 46 of these new African ancestors were found and out of those 46, 29 of those ancestors were children. This is the most significant thing that I want you to understand. Uh, we're starting to see a, you know, a similarity on all these slave burials that we are finding across the South in the United States of America. A lot of these enslaved ancestors that they just buried and threw away, the majority of them were children. So this shows you the state of white supremacy and the, um, the, the non-value that they had on these enslaved Africans' lives and children. They treated our ancestral children like they were nothing. They had no value. So they buried them on lands with no names, like I'm always coming to you with, no identity. So later on, come to find out, as they was doing the study and research on these ancestors, these ancestors were very malnutrition, meaning that they wasn't eating good. They had bad diets. So they were treated um, with what we call slave food. So they, they, they lacked nutrition and protein. So they wasn't eating a lot of meat. So they was eating a lot of scraps like pigs and hogs and things of that nature, bad food that we continue to eat today. That's a part of our DNA and bad diets today. So um, one, of the, one of the particular skeletons that they found was a, a, a large African male. And from the study of this large African male, they could tell that this male was putting in extenuous labor. He had bad uh, joints and muscles from continuously lifting and labor so this is showing that how extraneous and how bad the labor was and, my, and, and, and you know throughout our history we know that we can guarantee that most of these ancestors didn't get paid for that strenuous labor and also before i close out i want to make the point that it goes back to what i'm always trying to uh, bring to you as far as the study of reparations their identity is known only to god but we believe that they live eternally in freedom let me say that one more time. Their identity is known only to God, but we believe that they live eternally in freedom. So we now know that these ancestors were identitless, nameless. Their remains were removed from AP Fort Hill and onto this land. Take a look around on this new African cemetery. African burial ground. A lot of these burials that you see on this African burial ground are remains that were moved from other churches that were started by ancestral Africans and former and say Africans out here in Bowling Green. So on that note, as I close out, I want to pour some libation for these 46 ancestors who now are actually living in freedom in the ancestral land. Let me pour out some libation for these ancestors and may these ancestors never be forgotten. Ise. Ise. You say. So I'm gonna sign out on that note. If you're out here in the Bowling Green area, come out here and pay homage to these ancestors, man. And never forget these ancestors, because they will always live with new African people in a new African nation. Free the land by any means necessary.